Whether you like to dress for comfort or you like to dress for style, there's a great piece that works for everybody, a hoodie. That's right, folks. Today we are diving deep into one of my all-time favorite fashion pieces, the hooded sweatshirt. I'm gonna show you how to style them, how they should fit. We're gonna talk about which styles are most versatile so that you can be getting the most for your money and be looking and feeling great all throughout fall and winter. As always, let's start with fit. So first up, I don't think you ever want a hoodie to be too snug. You don't want it to be too small because that kind of completely defeats the purpose of it being comfortable and a great piece for layering. But on the other hand, you also don't want it to be too huge and oversized because although that might be extremely comfortable, it's definitely not gonna be flattering. Keeping it relatively fitted with enough room to breathe in and move around a little bit is always gonna be smartest. I'm 6'3", about 185 pounds, and I almost always go for a large. Next up, let's talk a little bit about the best styles of hoodie. Over the last few years, things have gotten a little crazy. I mean, I've seen oversized, I've seen weird zippers, I've seen crazy graphics all over the place. Ultimately, in my personal opinion, these are a waste of money because sure, you might get to wear them for a season or two, but eventually they're just gonna go out of style. I would always recommend something in a solid, very neutral, versatile color. And if you are going to go with something printed, make it super subtle. Like this one, for example, it's a black sweatshirt and you can see that it says the logo in black as well. So yes, it's there, but it's also extremely subtle. You're not gonna notice it until you're really up close. So let's get into some outfit ideas. I am splitting this into three different categories. I have six looks for you guys. Two are just a hoodie by itself. Two are demonstrating how you can layer underneath a hoodie. And then two are demonstrating how you can layer over the top of the hoodie to really stay warm and stay stylish all throughout fall and winter. So in look one, we're starting super basic for like this later portion of fall when it's still not super cold. With just chino shorts and a t-shirt, I've got a basic sneaker. I want something a little bit more bold. And then your basic hoodie, obviously you're layering that over the top and it creates just a very simple outfit. And with a look like this, I like to add in some accessories just to really, really personalize the look as much as I'm able with a bracelet and a ring, nothing too over the top, but it's just something a little bit extra. And as you can see, it's just a casual, easy outfit. I'm making a little bit of a statement with the sneakers. You could go with something a little bit more basic. It's completely up to your personal style preference, but I really like an outfit like this a lot. Look two, we're starting out with just some basic denim and a simple white t-shirt as a layering piece underneath of our hoodie. And then I have this kind of burnt sand brown hoodie that I really, really love over the top of that. It just kind of throws in some earth tones. And then instead of doing the normal casual thing you would do by grabbing sneakers, I'm doing boots just because it still th keeps things very casual as you can see overall, but it just adds a little bit something extra because of the fact that you're matching your hoodie with the boots, it makes it a little bit more rugged and it allows you to go a lot more different places than you could go in sneakers and feel comfortable. Look three, starting out with some chino pants. And over the top of that, I have this orange and navy blue flannel shirt. Now we're getting into the looks where we're layering the hoodie over. So what I like to do, uh, well, and then for shoes, just a simple white sneaker, cause I don't want to dress it up too much, keeping it pretty casual. But then as you can see, I'll throw the hoodie on and then let the collar pop out of the shirt itself. I like to button it all the way up to the neck so that it really allows the collar of the shirt. You can kind of let the front tails of the shirt stick out a little bit. Especially, I really enjoy this because it's matching the color of the shirt and the hoodie. So it's just a really interesting way to start layering and keeping yourself warm while also showing off those little details. Look four, starting off with just some skinny black jeans, dressing things up a little bit with this gray turtleneck sweater and a similar move with boots here, as you can see. So it's just a little bit more of an upscale version of what I just showed you before. And this black Neiman Marcus hoodie, but you see how we're just barely letting the turtleneck show. Overall, this is a very dark look, but you could mix up the colors if you wanted to. It's completely up to you. But I think it's a really fun way for you to be able to kind of really look a little bit more dressy in a hoodie. And also you could throw in a pop of color with the turtleneck, or you can just start to get creative with it but understanding different ways you can layer them to stay warm and look really good. In look five, I have these brown painter's jeans with another earth tone, green hoodie, 
All these hoodies are from Gap, except the Neiman Marcus one. I love them. And just, again, some casual white sneakers. Anytime I'm layering a jacket over it, I like to put the hood up just to make sure it doesn't get all bunchy. But as you can see, this is a very classic aesthetic with the denim jacket and the hoodie uh, layered together. And I just really, really dig the overall color palette of this. It's very earthy, it's very outdoorsy, but also extremely stylish. And then another thing you can do in a similar way to this is actually throw that same flannel on that we had layered under it before. You can layer it over the top in a similar way and it adds a really cool stylish vibe. And finally in look six, I have some green chino pants with this brown hoodie again. I'm matching my pants with my boots just because I happen to have a green pair of boots from Taft. Love the military inspired color palette here, but then what I love to do is throw an overcoat over the top. And this is a really fun look because I'm matching my two top pieces and my two bottom pieces, as you can notice. So it breaks up the colors because they're all very complementary to each other, but it does create a really fun vibe by splitting it up between your bottom and your top. But overall, just throwing an overcoat over a hoodie is always a good move. And there you go, guys. Six different ways to style a hoodie. Now remember, with these outfits, always look at it as categories. You do not have to go copy exactly what I'm wearing, but by understanding how to combine different types of pieces together, you're gonna be able to start getting creative with what's in your closet or understanding what you need to be buying at the mall. Thank you guys so much for watching. I put links down in the description to some of my favorite hoodies, some of the pieces in this video as well that I'm wearing with the rest of the outfits. I hope you enjoyed. Go follow me on Instagram for lots of other style tips and outfit ideas. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Tell a friend about the channel and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.